Today I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 10 and 11 lifestyle a little more private using something called ShutUp 10++. If you go to the first link in the description, you will see this web page and you just want to click on download. Now we're downloading a portable app, so that means you don't need to install anything, but it is useful to have in case, you know, Windows updates ruin everything. Now, if I went over every single setting, the video would be 16 minutes. Trust me, I did that and redid it. But I'm going to show you how the main kind of UI works and some basic kind of settings that we're going to plug in. So on the right, we have recommended. It basically tells you if you should turn the setting on or off. On the left, you have state, which is basically telling you if the setting is on or off. In the middle, we have settings. And if you click on something, it'll explain what it means. Now, up at the top, we have file, import settings, export settings. We have actions. We have view, all this other garbage. Basically, before we even do anything, what you want to do is press the Windows key, type in restore, and press enter. Then what we want to do is we want to click on configure, then click on turn on system protection, and click apply. Then press OK, and press OK. So now, basically, you could go through every single one of these settings and figure out what they do. That's on you to figure out. I just want to show you that if you press actions and click apply only recommended settings, then you'll be good. But it'll pop up saying, wait, do you want to create a system restore point? Press yes. Basically, this is kind of like a time machine where you can go back in time in case anything goes wrong. It's really helpful and just please do it. Now, once it's done, all you need to do is just press the X button and it'll say, oh, thank you very much. Now, it will tell you that if there is a Windows update, the, some of these settings can actually be reverted back to what they were before. So what you want to do is that every time there's a Windows update, just open up the app, go to Actions, and then click Select All Recommended, and you're good to go. Now I'm actually going to press the X button here to go back and maybe explain one more feature. Let's say you have a very customized one, like for example, some of these uh, suggested ones you want them disabled. Well, you can actually save your settings by going to File, then click Export Settings, and you just want to name it whatever. In this case, I'm going to call it OOShutUp10.CFG. I'm going to click Save, then I'm going to press OK. Then let's say Windows Update just kind of ruins everything, so it just kind of goes back to this. Oh no, all my custom settings, what do I do? Well, you can press on File, click Import Settings, and double click on that config file you saved, and kaboom, now everything is enabled, plus those little weird ones that you disabled if you wanted to. But in this case, I'm just gonna apply only recommended settings. Now once it's done, you'll press X and you'll press OK. Then it'll say, hey, you gotta reboot your system to make these changes. So I'm gonna reboot my system. Oh, oh, this is the niche case. Let's say that something happens and your computer doesn't work as normal anymore. Well, I'm going to show you how to use that time machine that we kind of set at the very beginning. So what you need to do is that if your computer is having issues when you turned on these settings, press the Windows key, type in restore, then press enter and it'll pop up with system properties. We want to click on system restore, then we want to click on next, then it will say automatic restore points at the time you installed ShutUp 10++. You wanna click on that and click next, then click finish, then press yes. What's going to happen is it's going to restore your system to that system restore point that we made. Once again, it's like a time machine. We go back in time, none of this stuff happened. So yeah, uh, that, that's, that's shut up 10 plus plus. Now, uh, I'd keep talking to you, tell you about all my life stories. I'd even tell you where, oh, I'd tell you all my personal details, but oh, 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 my computer is about to restart and that won't happen. So anyway, sweetheart, I love you very much and have a great day at school tomorrow. Mwah! Oh yeah, summer's coming pretty soon. Are you excited? I am.